The bottom line is that progressive overload in good form is the primary driver of muscle growth for natural lifters. If you want to build an impressive physique as a drug-free lifter, you should expect to gradually work up to lifting impressive weights across the key major compound lifts. So at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck if you're in the optimal sets per muscle group range, if you're doing the optimal amount of volume because some science-based guy told you so. If you're fucking benching 150 pounds right now, and in a year's time, you're still benching 150 pounds, you have not gotten any fucking bigger despite being in the optimal sets per muscle group range, doing a ton of volume, hitting the muscle from all different angles. If you're still benching 150 pounds, your fucking chest, shoulders, triceps have not gotten any bigger. This is the fundamental problem with the fitness industry and with bodybuilding culture and with the, you know, the science-based community saying, you know, this is optimal, this is optimal. It's a complete load of bullshit. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why low volume training is the best way to train for natural lifters. We're gonna specifically talk about the four Four reasons why it is superior to anything else you're going to do and the reality is that everything in your training everything from from your sleep to your fucking nutrition to your training it all has to be structured around progressive poundage on your big major compound lifts this is of the utmost importance this is the primary rule that everything in your training should be based around and the issue with most people's training is that it's not based on this fundamental principle they're so caught up in all of this excess bullshit they're caught up in optimality and minor things that don't mean shit that take away from the energy they could be putting into this fundamental principle that's actually going to build their physiques as drug-free lifters and the reality is that when you're focused on this fundamental rule of progressive poundage in good form on your key major compound lifts you don't need to worry about all the excess bullshit. I'm going to make this very, very fucking simple for you guys, okay? There are four primary reasons why low volume training is superior to anything else. The first reason is training intensity. In order to stimulate muscle growth, you need to train hard. It's that simple. You need to train hard in order to stimulate muscle growth. You can't just be going through the fucking motions. And the reality is that the more sets you do, the more likely you are to dilute your effort and end up just going through the motions. So I noticed this, and it's not even any of my business, but anytime I go to the public gym, I always see people who are just basically going through the motions in their training. And if they would just extend their recovery time, if they would just, you know, cut their volume in half, then every time they go into the gym, they wouldn't be fucking around. They wouldn't be going through the motions. They would actually be able to bring forth the right amount of effort to stimulate muscle growth. The next reason is recovery. So this is obvious. When you're training with less volume, you have a lot more time to recover. What people don't understand in today's fitness industry is that you grow when you are outside of the gym. You don't grow when you're inside of the gym training. You grow when you're outside of the gym recovering, resting, getting proper nutrition, sleeping. That's when you fucking grow. And when you're training with a lower volume, you're prioritizing your recovery. And every time you set foot in the gym, you're going to be able to add a little bit of iron to the bar. And this is where the, that fundamental principle of progressive overload comes into play. If you're not recovered and you're not giving your body enough rest, you're first of all, as I said, you're not gonna be able to put forth the right amount of effort to stimulate growth. And even if, even if some of you are going to argue and say, yeah, I can put forth the right amount of effort training with a high volume, you're not giving yourself enough rest. You're not giving yourself enough rest days to actually turn that stimulation into muscle growth. So as a general rule of thumb, you want to always have more rest days than training days. The next reason is enthusiasm and sustainability. We all know sustainability is the most fucking important thing. If you can do something for a couple months, it doesn't mean shit. You need to be able to stick to this for the long term because that's where results are made. Results aren't made in a month, two months, three months. Results are made over the long term. They're made in a matter of years. So if you can't fucking sustain what you're doing right now and your enthusiasm to train is off, then you can forget about getting any meaningful results because ultimately, ultimately, enthusiasm is extremely, extremely important. And if you're in the gym all the time, if you're doing these marathon workouts where you're, you're fucking training with tons of volume, you're in the gym two hours every day, pumping tons of volume, your enthusiasm goes to shit and you, you're, you're not really looking forward to your training anymore. I'm someone who loves to train. I love training. I love lifting weights. But I couldn't be in the gym five, six days a week doing a ton of volume, doing these marathon workouts because my enthusiasm to train would go down. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be special anymore. So especially for people with lives outside of the gym, which should be you, fitness is not everything. Fitness is just one piece of the pie. 
that's what polarity fitness is about at the end of the day i'm not about telling you guys to live like gym rats it's about being a well-rounded person it's about having fitness as something that enriches your life not consumes it you want to go into the gym get it done enjoy your time there and then get out of the gym and then focus on the other areas of life if you're doing high volume training you're going to be in the gym way too fucking much and it's going to be taking away it's going to be detracting from all the other areas of your life that need just as much if not more attention for so for people who are focused on all the other areas of their life as i said you should be too low volume training is just the best way to go about doing things sustainability wise and enthusiasm wise and you're going to be able to have all this extra time to put into the other areas of life that matter whether it's that business it's that career it's that education spending time with loved ones going out talking to people of the opposite sex going on dates all this beautiful shit that you should be doing instead of being in the gym all the time effective training is about quality not quantity and you only need a small amount of quality training in order to stimulate muscle growth and training too much can very easily lead to overtraining for drug-free lifters and as i said guys you grow when you are resting when you're sleeping when you're getting your nutrition and you do not grow in the gym the name of the muscle building game as a drug-free lifter is to go into the gym stimulate muscle growth with a small amount of very hard training get out of the gym eat recover overcompensate come back to the gym and add a little bit of weight to the bar this is how it's done as a drug-free lifter and everyone is so focused on optimal volume and really they would be better off just primarily focusing on training two to three times per week, focusing on four to eight major compound lifts, getting strong at them, relentlessly and gradually adding weight to these lifts in a medium rep range. If they focused on this, trust me, they would get jacked. If you focused on relentlessly and gradually adding weight to your squats, your bench presses, your deadlifts, your overhead presses, your weighted chin-ups, your rows, your dips, you would be jacked if you focused on getting up to moving respectable weights in these lifts in a medium rep range you would be jacked it's that simple so i'm not saying just adding weight to the bar in good form is the only factor at play because the reality is is that volume is still important but you need a lot less than what the fitness industry has led you to believe and to be honest with you intensity can largely replace volume to a certain extent and that's obviously the better way to go about doing things as a drug-free lifter but the truth is is that there are two primary drivers of muscle growth there's mechanical tension and there's metabolic fatigue in other words tension and volume so volume is still important to a certain degree but you don't need as much as the fitness industry has led you to believe and as i said it's about going in the gym stimulating muscle growth with a very small amount of hard training getting out of the gym recovering growing back stronger that's how you do things as a drug-free lifter so all these people worried about optimal volume it's complete bullshit and they would be much better off focusing on as i said you know getting strong relentlessly and gradually adding weight to about four to eight key compound lifts in their training training just two to three times per week focusing on getting strong in that medium rep range so that they're still hitting a spectrum of rep ranges which is what i recommend because as i said if you're just focused on adding weight to the bar and you're training with just you know two to three rep sets you're not going to be maximizing muscle growth so you still want to get a good spectrum of rep ranges in and if you're following the polarity training philosophy you are going to be getting that in Many people disagree that progressive overload is the most important factor at play when it comes to building your physique as a drug-free lifter. And all too often, people dismiss low volume training and basics first training as too simple to work. But the reality is that these same people are the ones who spin their wheels forever and never build any appreciable muscle and strength. They focus on theory, optimality, marginal issues, and pretty much anything else that detracts their focus from the primary, simple, and overwhelming importance of adding weight to the bar in good form on their big basic compound lifts. The focus needs to be on in good form, moving impressive weights on your big major compound lifts. And the best way to go about this is low volume training. Most lifters would 10X their gains if they cut their training volume in half doubled the amount of rest days between workouts, got serious about delivering real effort in the reduced training time, and put more energy and focus into getting enough calories and proper nutrition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe and pick up my free 13 point natural muscle building checklist if you haven't already. This checklist will teach you everything you need to know about building your best physique as a drug-free lifter. If you do not have this checklist, if you do not have this self-assessment, you are missing out on gains. And the reality is that you're not going to find this information anywhere in the fitness industry because the fitness industry is full of shit. So make sure to pick that up and you will set yourself apart from the pack.